Tech family, what's up? Please do not judge me. I am wearing a hat not for style, but because my hair is not appropriate. Just got off work a few minutes ago, but I did feel compelled to make this video for you. So I hope that you get a lot of value out of it. Today at work was one of my worst days. I felt like, you know, I'm just gonna do something different. I had to restart my computer for something and maybe it was a little lazy on my part. I, I didn't feel like pulling up my script that I normally read from. So I said to myself, you know what, forget the script. I mean, it wasn't working anyway for me today, right? And if I remember correctly, on my first call, I believe, uh, I did set an appointment. I had only had two for the whole day. I set that one appointment, and then on my very next call, I set a another appointment, if my memory serves me correctly, I believe it was my very next call. I had 100% increase in a span of less than an hour when I had been at work four hours. So that was very cool. And then I saw that I ended up getting three sales influenced that came through. Right now, my quota for the month of April 2023, it is now April 14th. I have seven sales influenced and my quota is eight for the month. So tracking pretty good. Anyway, enough of that stuff. Here are the three things that I really, really, really feel like are important for you to know. The first is treat people like they are human, not an ATM machine. Treat people like they're human when you're making calls. So what do I mean by that? Well, we know that the objective is we wanna get a sale, but be willing to talk to them like you really understand that they are a person, they have feelings, they're wondering why you're calling, and they don't want to book a meeting to potentially spend money if they don't really see how it's gonna benefit them. Um, so one thing that I started doing today that I've done in the past, but I haven't been doing it recently, was asking them how they're doing. Now, is it that I care how they're doing? Well, maybe I do, maybe I don't. I don't know. My point is, I ask how you're doing more so to just engage them so that it's a little less robotic. It's a little, hey, this is why, hey, this is Justin with Intuit, and I'm on a recorded line, and my purpose for calling is this, and then just go into my spill. I'll ask them very quickly, but I say it fast because I don't want to drag out the how you're doing to give the impression that I'm about to have this drawn out conversation taking all of their time up. So I'll start off in my regular tonality. Hey, this is Justin with Intuit calling for such and such. Then they respond. Oh, awesome. Uh, I'm calling on a recorded line. And how are you doing today? Or whenever I insert that in, you know, hey, I'm just calling you for a moment on a recorded line. How are you? I'll say, how are you? But I'm doing that to just engage them, to kind of like size them up in a sense. See see where their their feelings are towards being on the phone. And, and so once I engage them like they're a human and not just like this ATM machine that I'm talking to, this robot that I'm talking to, then I can kind of feel out how to uh, tweak my tonality and, and my approach to them from there. And so, which that brings me to my, my second point is work on tonality and confidence. Um, out of all of the calls that I've made so far, this is still just a central theme that I believe is so, so, so important. It's the tonality. So when I engage them and I ask them, how are you? How are you? How are you? And then depending on how they respond to me, if they respond very short to where it's kind of like, uh, I'm fine. Well, okay, well, just for an example, if they say something like that, well, then I know to kind of maybe speed through a little quickly, get to the point, right? But if they, hey, I'm fine, how are you? Oh, well, thank you for asking. Well, at that point, I can become very, very bright and, and just inviting in my tonality to really put them at ease even further, right? Um, so being very mindful of tonality, I put confidence there because being confident is connected to tonality okay you you have to just look you got to know that you you really like your job you got to know that it is a blessing and this is an opportunity to be able to work from home if you're working from home if you if you you know whenever you land that sdr job you're getting paid well you're sitting in your house 
hey, I'm confident that this is what I want to be doing. And then as you understand your product, as you prepare yourself, build your skill, I am confident. I'm, I'm confident in the product that I represent. So when you're on the phone, that has to come across. So that's very important. And I did feel like I was, I was a little more confident in these uh, last two appointments that I was able to book today. And so now my last point is do something different. Uh, this is still just a, this, is, this is just a central theme with me. Be willing. Look, and, and it sounds simple, but literally I will stand up out of a eight hour work shift. I might stand up for six and a half, seven of those hours sometimes. And literally I'll just stand up and make calls. But I'm doing that because I feel like if I sit down too long, then I get too, you know, uh, or whatever that means, sleepy, right? Um, so, but then sometimes if I'm standing up and it stops working, hey, maybe I have sat down before just to, man, I'm gonna relax and just do something different now. If my script is not working and if it has consistently not been yielding results, I gotta figure out how to change that script. Maybe I might need to stop making calls for a little while, study some YouTube videos real quick, go through my product knowledge, and, and start trying to put some vocabulary with my understanding of the product and in terms of how to actually ask certain discovery questions that will engage the person better and so that I can uncover some pain, help them uncover some, some pains that they're having and some gain opportunities for them. So those are my three points uh, for you in terms of how to maybe get yourself out of a rut continue to become better, yield results on your job, and yes, wish you the best. So hope you enjoyed this. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, and see you on the next video.